Michael the Count Bisbing is stepping up on short notice to fight Kelvin on a mission for Gold Gaslam in the main event of UFC Shanghai or UFC Fight Night 122. My name is Flying Brighton J. This video is brought to you by MMAMania.com. And I want to make my breakdown rather simple. Let's start talking about how people say Kelvin Gaslam is too small for this division, and Chris Weidman proved that. Well, Chris Weidman used a grappling-centric approach to really sap the energy from the smaller fighter in Gaslam. And I don't think that Michael Bisbing is going to do that. Even though Bisbing is a wily veteran and he could see that as a path to victory, use his size advantage to lean on Gaslam, sap that energy, and then take over later when Bisbing, we know he has great cardio, he could take over with that volume punching. I don't think this is going to happen here. Even if Bisbing were to use that approach, I don't see him being able to hold Gaslam down for very much time at all. He's not nearly the grappler that Chris Whiteman is, and I don't think that's his path to victory for Michael Bisbing. Also, I think that Bisbing is coming into this fight too soon. It was just three weeks ago that he got dropped and then choked unconscious against George Rush St. Pierre. And I always say that I think that fighters who get dropped like that or knocked out whatever should take six months to a year off. Let that brain heal a little bit. And I know that Bisping didn't get finished by KO or TKO, but he definitely got dropped and I'm certain that he got concussed. But evidently the doctors think he's good to go on just three weeks short notice. And I don't know about that. I think that could be to his detriment here. In terms of the stand-up striking matchup, both guys are really diverse with their attack and they like to end combinations with low kicks. They have really intelligent lead hands. They're good with hooks from that position. Um, and they're overall got great cardio. I think that the youth advantage, Kelvin Gaslam is 11 years younger than Michael Bisbing, accompanied by that short notice by Michael Bisbing here, is going to give Gaslam a good speed advantage. Gaslam loves to spam the one two and he can close that distance even though he's the smaller fighter will be at a little bit of a reach disadvantage to bisping he can close that distance extremely extremely quick he loves to just flash his right jab out there and come with a left straight or an overhand left and he'll also throw a lead left hook as well but i think that that combination right there is what's going to get Gaslam this victory. George St. Pierre said in his post-fight interview at UFC 217 that Bisbing doesn't see very well out of Bisbing's right eye because he had that retina problem. I think it was from a kick from TRT Vitor Belfort. The same thing that GSP did. He said he practiced doing it, attacking to the opposite side of that eye to get his attention and then coming to that eye would get the better of Bisbing and that's how GSP dropped him. I think that Gaslam's going to be able to do that same damn thing. It's not like Bisbing's going to be able to recover on three weeks short notice from that eye thing that's going to plague him for the rest of his life. The speed advantage is on the side of Kelvin Gaslam. I think that if Gaslam were to go for takedowns, if he were to get the fight to the ground, sure, Bisbing showed a really good ability to hurt his opponent off of his back, cut him up a little bit, make him pay for taking them down. But just the threats of level changes and the threat of wrestling is going to help Gaslam open up the striking along with attacking to the opposite side of like attacking the good eye of Bisbing and then coming with a real attack to Bisbing's bad eye. I think that Gaslam drops him midway through the second round and finishes him with some ground and pound. But it's not too bad because Bisbing will be, will be back for his swan song in London and him, he could possibly win that fight. But I don't see him winning on Saturday at the ass crack of dawn. And I've got Kelvin Gaslam via K or TKO in round number two. Tell me who you're picking in the comment section down below. Please give the video a cheeky little thumbs up. I'll see you in my next one. Namaste. Namaste.